dear student in the series of discussion on probiotic soil and their management this is my second lecture on a seed soil actually in my first lecture i have already discussed ki how our soil becomes acidic there are so many region causes i have already discussed today i am going to discuss with you about how our soil convert into infertile soil and this is the main topic actually our goal is to make soil more fertile so that our uh, uh, it can develop in inherent capacity to supply more nutrients to the plant system and our crop can be healthy and our farmers can harvest more uh, more yield so this is the main reason and this picture reflect a very clear cut idea about the nutrients availability in the soil soil one by one you can say this is the range of the soil acidity uh, starting from the strongly acidity that is less than 5.5 and comes from the strongly alkaline this is the range of the different uh, soil acidity or alkalinity you can say or this is the nitrogen scenario of the nitrogen you can see in the acidic condition its shrinkage means availability become less at the neutral level its availability is good for our crop but at higher level means saline and alkali condition will develop in the soil again our nitrogen is a problematic risk at problematic condition just like phosphorus also almost follow similar pattern to the nitrogen and this also become less available at acidic condition just like potash also less available sulfur also less available calcium also less available magnesium also is available so you can say nitrogen phosphorus potash sulfur calcium magnesium are problematic and less available in the acidic soil condition but in the uh, second scenario you can say iron availability is good magnesium availability is good but boron availability again reduce or uh, in the acidic soil condition copper and zinc availability is good in the soil acidic condition so overall we can say in acidic soil condition our nitrogen is the problematic phosphorus is the problematic potash is the problematic sulfur is the problematic calcium is the problematic magnesium is the problematic in micronutrients boron and molybdenum is the problematic and less available to the plant system and so our plants can be affected due to the deficiency of these nutrients now again you can see hydro aluminum and hydrogen is the main culprit that affect the plant growth you can see here aluminum affect the root growth there is the line and normal roots here is the unlined and aluminum toxicity is developed so in the acidic soil lime embryo application is most essential and in the absence of the liming you can see our root growth will be affected due to the aluminum toxicity two main effect of the aluminum and is injury to the root and decrease uptake of the calcium and magnesium it is the uh, said theory keep our root development between decreases then our uptake of the nutrients will be declined 
Now, second, calcium deficiency is a common feature in the acidic soil condition. You can see in the, this picture because calcium is a main component of cell formation. So, in the deficiency of the calcium, our uh, development of the cell wall will be diseased and this type of the symptoms you can see in the farmer field. Now, production constant. A seed soil has purely supply of the calcium, magnesium and more concentration of the iron and aluminium. I have already discussed in the earlier slide. This soil therefore suffer due to deficiency of phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, molybdenum, boron and toxicity of the aluminium and iron. This soil have low organic carbon and available nitrogen. This slides reflect a summarized concept about the nutrient availability in the acid soil condition. Now, management option. Actually, our goal is to manage the acid soil and to increase the production of the farmers. Actually, a, a network project uh, has been uh, run uh, in the India by the support by the ICAR. Dr. A.K. Sarkar, renowned scientist, was the principal investigator of that project. In that project, there are so many centers and all centers have given a technology. If only lime applied in the soil, our crop yield will be increased one quintal per hectare. But if we go in the integrated nutrients management system with liming, we can increase 3 quintal uh, per hectare grain yield uh, in acid soil. So this is a better option to increase the uh, production in our country. So management option for the improving agroecosystem of the acid soil are first option is liming is traditionally used to correct the acidity and to improve soil productivity. This is the uh, traditional option. Like one option also is very important to select the planting the acid tolerant crop. So there are so many uh, species, so many cultivar that tolerate the acidic condition, bad impact of the acidic condition and that crop can grow well in the acid soil condition. So these are the two main options in the management of point of view. You can apply a locally available lining material uh, in your uh, to improve the soil acidity in the farmer field and second you select a suitable planting material. Now first option is this is the figure of the lime application. What are the brain added to the soil? This is the question arises. Ki what lime does? Ki what lime do in the brain reach in the soil system? You can see here very clearly cut for the uh, equation for our student. The vein calcium carbonate, this is the calcite, when enter into the soil or when reached at the soil system, it react with the water, water moisture and converted into the calcium, hydroxide and carbon dioxide. Then this is the colloidal system where aluminium and HI due to the negative charges of the soil is attached. Then, Calcium that uh, comes from the uh, calcium application that replaced the aluminium and each ion from the soil collides towards the soil solution. And this aluminium and each ion when react with the OH converted into the solid aluminium OH3 and again each ion with the OH convert into the water. So this is the history, this is the scenario, this is the uh, uh, reaction that liming can do when 
reach in the soil and protect the acidity effect uh, in the soil system. Now, this is also, you can say, this is the acid soil and this is the neutral clay. Here, when liming, lime is applied, what happened? Hydro, uh, water, carbon dioxide, ALOSO3 is formed and this calcium saturation will be more. Increase on the soil collapse and aluminium and hydrogen concentration will reduce from the soil collapse due to the lime application and this is the main role of the lime when reached in the soil condition. How lime neutralize the aluminium? This is the main. Actually, aluminium and iron is the two culprits that develop the acidity in the soil. But among two, aluminium is more notorious as compared to the hydrogen. So when aluminium that attract by the soil collapse react with the carbon dioxide and water, you can say there is the aluminium hydroxide, this is the solid and reach down and carbonic acid is formed. Again carbonic acid break down into the water and hydrogen. So this aluminium hydroxide will be reduced, the aluminium concentration will reduce due to the lime application and our soil will be more fertile converted into the more fertile inherent capacity will increase to support our plant. Now, thank you and this is my email number and this is my contact number and you are free to contact any time for any query on my given first lecture and second lecture also. Thank you.